to have a, a guest. Yeah, I thought I gave Chris their show. That's all good. It's Chris from the Wild Show. So this is more or less Thursday. No, it's Tuesday, Will. Okay. It was when I got up anyway. Right, but it's sort of similar to how how Tuesday might. Oh, hang on, we got we got to find that out. So we won't. No, we will have to start again. Sorry. What? What? Well, well, because um. We, so this is where we go. We go wrong. Well, we might between oh, us we go. It's God sick. Well, no, it's all right. It's it's all fine. It's just that uh, SoundCloud. We we use the computers. We do like the computers. You use Well, okay, I use it. Well, you use your phone. Phone's a computer. Yeah, it's got a processor, John. Yep. And they're both they're both equally dangerous because we have these streams of sound. And we think we've stopped one of them, but it actually carries on. Okay. So the p- the computer. Right. Anyway, Chris, right, cool. Chris, I think you should start again. In okay. fact, should, should we turn the fan off? I, what I'm going to do, I'm going. If you turn, if you turn the fan off, because yeah. that's just make. I can just hear the um, the sound of that. Oh yeah, anything distracts will. Yeah, I, I, most that's pe- that's most that's people would have been able to work over that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Um, well, no, no, I just, um, yeah, because we might reuse some of this. Now we've got a serious guest. I do agree with Will. The fan was most irritating. Well, it's not irritating so much as if you try to reuse the sound clips later on. People might think Will's most irritating. Well, <laughs> anyway, um, Chris, what you've missed so far... Is you punching John? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, nothing like that is ever going to happen. Right. Hey. No. It's all a performance. Right. The slight yeah. irritations that we might have. It's yeah, not part I, of the I show, have, really. No, I will explain all this to the listeners. In real life, I don't go up to people um, randomly irritating people. Because, as, as you may all know, I've never received a punch in the face from... From any member of the public yet, that might be that might be simply because I don't actually in real life go up the high street irritating people. But when I'm actually um, when when I'm actually trying to entertain people like this, yes, yes, I I I I I, I do like to slightly irritate people and to see what reaction I get because some of the reactions are quite uh, quite quite funny and it's quite entertaining to irritate people and okay. they yet well, to but John can I can I say this that you you can also be charming yeah but it's going to be part of your radio technique to be friendly as well as irritating they yet to event an award an irritating award and no, I, don't do that. I would like to uh, see one evented by uh, such people. I think if I if, if there was an irritating award available, I think I would win it. Yes, I'm not going to disagree with you because I'm just the sort of interviewer who doesn't disagree. He just lets the guests get on with it. But, <laughs> but and, uh, play it back but later. Will did Will Will did Will did say that I'm 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 an accumulation of small irritations. Yes. So so we, we've we've established that I'm a, I'm an accumulation of small irritations, courtesy of Will well, you can Pollard. Be. You can be. Yeah, I was accumulation of small irritations of that wasn't I? Well. Um, I, I, I and now you've accumulated those small irritations into one big irritation. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that at all. I'd be just moving about London with a wheelchair in tow, as it were. Irritate, it irritates the life out of you. Well, it can be. Personally. It can be, it can be difficult. And he tries to say, he tries to stay so polite and so calm, but eventually it gets on top of him and he starts swearing. <laughs> no. No, certainly not. Right. Not on the radio. No, not, not on the radio, but in real life, you see. Oh, well, yes. Maybe yes, I'll take in, it. I, I may panic slightly. For in those of you, for the, for those of you who don't know, I may. Uh, what I might do is take a um, record. Well, I've got a recorder on my phone, and mm. when I know um, next time we're in London, I'm going to take a recorder mm. 
with me and and actually record with him when he gets irritated and starts swearing at people oh. and swearing at all the equipment <laughs> and I'm going to put it on SoundCloud. No. And post the link, <laughs> post the link on Twitter so everybody can hear Will hear Will uh, when he gets when he gets panicky and stressed because because on the, because on because on on the Phonic FM unfortunately we're not allowed to, we're not allowed to broadcast inappropriate language. Certainly not. So I would, I would, I would like all the listeners to be able to hear what Will Pollard is like when he's when he's at his highest highest irritation points. Yes. <laughs> during but, but, during um, the day. This, this won't happen. Like a volcano wanting <laughs> to erupt. Yes. Something I've like seen, that. I have seen, seen her erupt before. Well, anyway, um. Chris, <laughs> since since you've arrived, yes, in our show, yes, I'm just explaining to you the structure, what our aim is, because we have a plan. Do you? We do. We're going to try and play a, a clip, an educational clip, because we're trying to work out what the connection is between open educational resources, as being discussed in Edinburgh, and radio as we know it, which is strung together with bits of MP3 and a bit of chat in the studio which the listeners may or may not stay with. See, I think eventually the listeners will work out that we're only putting together bits and pieces and they'll find their own bits and pieces because the chat would be going on too long. Do you think that is the future of FM? Yes, I do. We're trying to talk to our guests, John. We know what you think. Right. You think it's all over, don't you? You think <laughs> yeah. FM has gone. I do. But Chris has had the good goodness of, from his heart to come into our, our studio We'll ask for some new opinions. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Chris, please carry on. Okay. Um, well, if John says FM's over, yeah. he paying his licence fee for nothing. Well, that's a very good point. Why are we paying the licence fee? Aren't we paying the licence fee now for our tablet to accept the iPlayer? I don't know when that's going to come into law, but they're trying... No, the licence fee for phonic, I Oh, I see, yeah, our, our fees for, to phonic. Yeah. Well, yeah, I th well, obviously, we, 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 we love the, the studio. We love FM. <laughs> Will you pretend? We, we, think, we think phonic is wonderful. <laughs> uh, the rent to the Phoenix should be paid. Yeah. So for all these reasons, it's it's um it, yeah it, the lis listeners may not realise that the presenters are all contributing to these these costs. You can send phonic money, by the way, if you look on the website. There's a little button there. It's very easy. It's called donate, isn't it? Will? It, it is. It is. So if somebody donated about twenty grand, <laughs> we'd um. We'd have a much better studio, and, how and I, would would, be a, I would be a calmer person. How would they donate this money? From PayPal, directly. Okay. okay. Or so? they could bring it round in a sack. In fact, if they bring it round <sighs> before two o'clock, we will be looking after it before the edge of jazz arrives. Well, does, wouldn't the edge of jazz have it? Well, they might, yeah, they might want us to leave the money in a big sack yeah and they'll look after it but we might just look after it okay and John's John John is John is lost in his he's, phone he's, he's not lost in his phone I'm but the phone that. his phone has many purposes it, it it supplies a a a good list of of um tunes yes and also he gets messages which is why the show can have a few gaps in it but anyway Chris I would just like to persevere with asking you because we have to realise that the, the Radio 1 Academy is on its way yes and we're all too old for it you've got to be 16, 17, 18 or 19 in your opinion well no that's their, their legal requirements or well, the, the conditions of booking they only want this is what Radio 1 does every so often um, they decide their audience is too old and their presenters are too old and their future licence payers have lost touch with the BBC and they better have a cull. They better get rid of everybody. And they, they're, so that's why I think they're, they're doing this academy with the condition you have to be 16, 17, 18 or 19 and then they'll tell you what they know, what they're expecting 
reveal the plan and give you access to the book. Okay. And um, so I just wonder whether this is in fact true. Because um, you, you have played on The Wild Show, it's not a secret, is it? You have played Chris Moyles. Yes. And several versions of his final show. Yes. And his song. Yes. And since then, uh, well, how can I put this? I mean, certainly I don't know who the breakfast presenter is on, on Radio 1. Uh, I don't know who not, does. Maybe John could find out with Google. I, d- I, I don't know, and I don't, I don't particularly want to find out. Oh, so it's, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't bother you that we don't know? Because we are I, I the think, We Don't Know show, aren't I we? I think it's Chris Moyle, isn't it? No, I don't think he it is Chris Miles. He left years ago. <laughs> I'm busy at the moment. He's busy at the moment. He's lost in his mind. Don't worry, Chris. I'm very glad you came in because, um, well, I think we should. Just, I'm just going to quote a couple of dates because, for various reasons, whoever, whoever does turn up at the Radio One Academy and gets to know what's going on, we would like to hear from them. And I think the first. Um, opportunity is at Hannah's so they're going to be at Seal Hain and I think that's on the 25th of April which is next week really isn't it that's Monday I think yeah. I've got that right yeah. so so somebody at Hannah's might know because you see what, what I think the, 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 the thing I would like to know is what they're going to do with the video because um I think I'm right. When they when they went to Hackney, which was the last one they did, a lot of the video of the of the performances turned up either on the red button or on BBC Three. But BBC Three is gone. So will it turn up on YouTube? Will it turn up on the iPlayer? What what are they going to do with it? Don't know. We well we don't know. That's why we are called the We Don't Know Show. W e n o t n o on Twitter. But if anybody does know. Well, they're lucky enough to go to the Radio 1 Academy and the Radio 1 Academy knows or has a theory about it. Um, what is happening with FM? What is happening with the World Wide Web? Is there a plan? Can anybody tell us? Right. Um, because we, we do carry on with FM, don't we? We, we, do, we do raise issues about it and we like Access All Aerials. Access All Aerials has moved to Spreaker. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, Spreaker. And um, so when Radio 1 Academy gets to Seal Hain, they, they would probably notice that there is a radio studio with no FM at all. Though having said that, anybody from Seal Hain is obviously very welcome. I think I can say this, Chris, if they turned up on a Thursday morning between 10 and 12... Yeah, or, or into your show. Yeah, so that's on a Tuesday between... When is it? We do our show? We start our show about 12, don't we? Yep. And then it's uh, we, we've got to finish by about two, so that's that's so so that's um, anybody who knows what's going on. See, I don't know that Radio One has a plan or that the BBC has a plan. It's quite possible they're making it up mm-hmm. that they don't know what they're going to do with the video around the big weekend any more than we do. Oh, well, probably not. You don't think they do? No. But it's also possible if they have a Radio One Academy. That there is. Um, do you remember, you don't remember Noel Edmonds on a Sunday morning on the on the radio? Do you? No. No. He he claims there's a book. The BBC has a book. Uh, Nick Grimshaw. We found this out from the Wikipedia. The Radio One Breakfast Show. Oh well, we might meet Nick Grimshaw at some point or get some informa- more information about him. If he wants to meet us. If he wants to meet us. Mr. Grimshaw, you're very welcome in this in this studio. And if you have an idea, although of what the plan is with video, we'd it's very unlikely he would want to come and meet us. You don't think he would like to want to meet us? No, I don't. Well, hey, anyway, I... somebody. Well, whoever whoever the, it turns up at the Radio One Academy, uh, we'd like to know if somebody at Seal Hay knows what what is going on. Right. <laughs> We'd like to know, wouldn't we? Anyway, I I I uh got into this show by claiming that I knew about R and B long ago. 
you might not have noticed this, dear listeners, but the the basic premise of the show is is sort of R and B. What is what is that? Which we don't know. We don't claim to know what it is. No. But I definitely know that this is on the Atlantic label um, from a, quite a long time ago, and it's Ben E King. <laughs> 